Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use view layouts and also how to adjust your workspace so that it has features that would actually suit your video editing needs. Now, whenever you load up Shotcut, it is going to have a default layout and it usually works for the majority of people. But as you're using Shotcut, you might want to change things around or maybe you might have accidentally deleted things to where you don't see the same features that were available before and I've definitely done this myself so right now on this left pane I only have a playlist whereas before I had multiple other tabs now before I get into showing you how to adjust these parts I'm going to show you the default layouts that Shotcut already provides and I think for the majority of people this is really all that they need and so the way in which you get there is you're going to go up here to the top go to view and here you see something called layout and this is where it's going to have all the default layouts. And so the default, whenever you start up Shotcut, is editing. And that will suit most people's needs. But let me go over each one of these different view layouts. So the first one is logging. So as you can see here, it has a lot of information specific to the clip. And also the recent files or projects that you've actually used before. And so this is a more focused view. And so if you actually want more of a clip related view uh, this is good for that and moving on to the next one is editing which is pretty much my favorite view because it has practically everything that I need and now the next one we're going to look at is FX so this view will allow you to really focus on the filters or effects that you actually put on your video clips now we have color so this is where you're going to be able to do some color grading. And I think this is a very good feature to have, specifically when you're wanting to do something more advanced, which because I really feel that color grading is something that's beyond a basic level of video editing. So other views that we have here is audio. And so if you're going to be doing any type of audio editing, you could do it right here in Shotcut. And I think it does a really great job in allowing you to do a lot of audio editing features without having to go to an external program like Audacity and then having to bring that back into Shotcut. And then another view that we have here is player. So this focuses just on playing the clip that you have selected. And if you notice up here, you can actually get to any one of those different views where it's color, audio, player, logging editing or effects fairly quickly so you don't necessarily have to go up here uh, but there is other things here that are not available in this quick view feature right here so we'll go down here to playlist project so this focuses on a view that's only the project files that you have in your playlist and then finally we have restore default layout and so which pretty much goes back to what you had previously under the editing layout now those are the main view layouts but now let's look at some ways in which we can adjust what actually shows up within our actual workspace for fast website hosting and top-notch service and features check out SiteGround the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com for more information check out the filler link in the description area below. And so for example, as I stated earlier, if you accidentally deleted things and even if you use a restore default layout, it doesn't bring those things back. Well, more than likely it's because you've turned some of these views off. So if you go back to view, here you're gonna see additional view options. So right now I only have a playlist that shows up down here, but I could also choose other things like filters, which is very important and also properties so now you have all your tabs here that you need and at the same time you could also add additional views as well but you could also go up here to the top so if you click on it it's going to show each one of these features and you don't necessarily have to have it as a tab down here and so there's many ways in which you can get to the various features available in shotcut but as you can see here you have a lot of control in which you can view your project, which I really like. And at the same time, you can tailor it to your video editing or workflow needs. And so for myself, I like to have these three views. 
and for these if i'm going to be doing you know other things beyond just the basic video editing then this is really an easy way for me to quickly get there and at least for me right now the one that i use the most is editing and also audio if i in case i ever needed to do that but later on i'm probably going to be using the color grading as well and in terms of fx i don't really need that view because i already have it down here as a tab so that's why being able to adjust the features available in your workspace is so handy so that is it for this tutorial on how you can adjust your views on layouts that are already pre-built or also by adjusting it by selecting different features that you actually wanted to see in your workspace. So if you actually had any thoughts in this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my shortcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.